In parts of Pakistan, a unique and hands-on method is used to extract gold from old mobile phones. It all begins with the collection of broken or discarded mobile phones. From each phone, only one part matters, the PCB. This green board holds tiny amounts of precious gold used in connectors and microchips. Once a large pile of PCBs is collected, the boards are burned. But instead of industrial burners, dried cow dung is used as fuel, an inexpensive and locally available resource. After burning, the metal-rich residue is brittle and easier to break down. It's then placed into a rotating machine filled with iron balls. As the machine spins, the balls crush the material into fine, sand-like particles. The crushed material is moved to a metal furnace where it's heated again, this time to melt the remaining metals. As the mixture melts, a plastic-like layer floats to the top. This is slag, impurities, burnt fiberglass, or any leftover plastic, and it's skimmed off and discarded. Next, the partially purified metal is reheated using a traditional charcoal furnace, combined with the electric blower to supply oxygen. Large logs of firewood are placed on top of the furnace to ensure burning from both the bottom and the top. As the heat intensifies, the molten metal becomes more fluid. Once again, lighter impurities rise to the surface and are removed, leaving behind a heavier, cleaner metal mix. Finally, it's time for the chemical extraction of gold. The remaining metal is soaked in a powerful acid solution, often aqua regia, a mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid. This dissolves the gold into a liquid form, separating it from other metals like copper or iron. It reacts with the dissolved gold, causing it to precipitate out as a brown powder. Then this powder is washed, filtered, and dried, finally melted one final time to create a tiny bead of pure gold. The average smartphone has about 0.03 grams of gold, so you'd need around 100 phones just to make one tiny gold ring.